and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our vegan today and we're going to be looking at firing rockets uh, from air to ground. So let's get started. Let's get to the arming screen and we can carry rockets on pylons 2, 3, 5 and 6. Uh, right click there, rockets. And we've got the Arak uh, M70B AP or HE. AP is armor piercing, so if you want to uh, attack heavy armor like tanks. And HE high explosives for troop and light armor. We're fighting light armor today, I think. So um, HE it is. And there's six uh, rockets per pod. I'm not sure the diameter of the rockets, but they are big. They are big, powerful rockets. Oops. Request rearming. Okay, while well, that's army up, let's look at let's look at the rest of the setup so on our weapon selector dial we want to go for a tack there we go um, and also if we look further back here we can set up whether we want to fire all of our rockets at once um, so all six rockets at once um, out of each pod all at once basically so if I had it on a group there every single rocket I've got would fire on the first click if I put it down to Enkel down there then just on one click of the trigger just one rocket would fire from each pod so a total of four rockets would go out because I got four pods complete. per click uh, because we're gonna fight, uh, fight a long trail trail of vehicles we're gonna go for uh, the un the ankle uh, just the single shot if you like uh, we're gonna have ourselves an ANF once we take off to do the actual shooting and the controls we're gonna use are just gonna be the normal controls of holding down the trigger safety bracket and then pressing the weapon release to fire the rockets Okay, uh, now like the bombs, the calculating computer of the uh, rockets, or the targeting computer, is based on the INS system, it's not radar based, therefore we have to tell the computer the, the altitude of the target, it's kind of annoying but it's just something we have to do. Uh, so I know that the targets happen to be at a QFE, and we set it here, we have to, uh, we have to set it basically here. Um, to the value of the elevation of where the targets are and I know that the targets are at a QFE elevation of 1011 um, I won't explain how I got that yet because I'm going to do a separate video to explain how you get the QFE um, once you know where a target is um, other than that I believe we're good to go so let's set off mill power breaks off stage 2 burner now we've got a waypoint one set up uh, above the target just to help us uh, locate ourselves there. Rotate. Gear up. Full burn. Turn on to target. It's gonna be over there somewhere. Okay, we're turning on to the waypoint now. As well as turning on to the waypoint, we need to gain a lot of altitude. The reason for that is that we want to uh, come in to the target at a fairly steep dive. I think 20 degrees or more dive. If we don't do that, then the targeting computer won't be able to calculate um, the rocket trajectory and basically the, the rockets won't be any use. We won't be able to fire them properly. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to climb up, dive down on the target and then take our shot from there. So let's, let's do that. Where's my waypoint? There it is. Okay, so let's climb up. Probably level off there. I think I can see the target. Yes, I can. Right. So we're going to dive in now. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to get the targeting uh, system up in a minute. And we're going to basically strafe along that line of vehicles there, pressing the trigger six times. Each time I press the trigger, because we're in single mode here, wherever it is, there, rather than the group mode, four rockets are going to fire. And we're going to basically strafe the whole uh, line of, of uh, vehicles. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hold the trigger safety on. We see we get the, um, the, the firing uh, symbology, which I'll explain in a second. We're going to go for the dive. And what we're going to get when we're within range is some ranging information. Stand by. There we go. Pause there. So what we've got here is uh, altitude radar there in meters. And we've got a ranging bar here. Um, we are essentially in the middle there. The minimum range, sorry, the maximum range of the rockets is these two outer markers. The actual range of where we are to the ground, and I think that's calculated with INS rather than radar, is this horizontal bar. This horizontal bar will shrink as we get closer to the target. Once it's within these two ticks here, we're in range, it will flash and we'll get the cue to shoot basically. 
So let's do that. What? And all this time we're holding down safety, trigger safety. Whoopsie. There, we've got the cue to shoot. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Looks pretty good. And let's go and assess that damage, shall we? Okay, that's a pretty mullered convoy. Pretty happy with that. So, um, yeah, there's not much to it. Simple as that. Uh, go and have some fun with them. Uh, just don't forget to set your QFE, otherwise that targeted information won't work. And if you want, like I said, turn that to group there and you'll fire all your rockets off in one attack if you've got a real close clump of vehicles or a radar site or something like that. Right, I hope that helps and I'll see you later.